Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under Andre Pedernaris. Here is the former UFC strawweight title challenger, Claudia Gadelia. When she's on, she can very well be the best 115-pound fighter in the world, Joe. This is a fighter who can truly do it all. Now training out of Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico, as she continues to round out what is already a very impressive MMA game. This girl is one of the best in the world for throwing fighters to the ground from the clinch. Tying up with her is a serious liability. She is so good at utilizing that clinch and dragging fights to the ground. Still just 23 years old, 12-gauge Paige Van Zandt has already been charged with headlining for the UFC twice and has had some big moments inside the octagon. We'll see if Paige Van Zandt can continue her strawweight ascension tonight in a big spot yet again. This girl is one of the most frightening kickers in this division. Ruthless knockout power in her legs. She kicks fast, she kicks hard, and she has a full arsenal of kicking technique to rely upon. When they land, they land with devastating impact. Our tail of the day for this strawweight fight. Van Zant is 23. Gadelia is 29. Van Zant will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the three pound. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record on 16 wins, four losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Claudia Gadella! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, ready to go with live action here from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. As strong and conditioned as any strawweight on the roster, here's Claudia Gadelia. Round one is underway. She's gotten off to some very good starts in the UFC. Ask the champion, Joanna Yale Jacek. Gadelia will go for the takedown early. We'll see how soon she shoots here tonight. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. All right, first round is underway, and you better watch out for the overhand punches when you're fighting an opponent of this caliber. It really has become a patented punch of hers, and so... Oh! Kick to the face! This could be it right here. Hard hook! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Gets caught with that punch. And really starting to make these shots count. That strike blocked by Gadelia. Oh, big kick to the body, Joe. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast paced oh, opening round here. Oh, this could be it. Nice job there, avoiding the clinch. Doesn't want to be there. That one hurt. Nice jab, very snappy jab. Well, I'll certainly laud her toughness, though, but that's not a good look as she absorbs that strike to the body. She almost leaned into that one, so let's see if she can make some adjustments here. Move the elbow down, lower the guard to prevent more body work from her opponent. Full mount. She's in half guard now. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Gedalia. 
Big shot from the bottom. One minute now to go in round one. She's inside control. She's now in north-south again. Back to side control. Excellent movement here on the ground. And she's inside control. She's in full mount again. Good control, posture's up. Round uh, two straight ahead. Uh. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Carly Baker in the building tonight. Thank you very much. yet again. Three minutes to go in round two. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Nice hammer fist. Big punch from the bottom. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, Huge elbow. elbow lands to the head. Adjust nicely, but in half guard now. She's now in full guard. She moves to half guard. Posture's up here. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off that. Staying busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. Lands a hard left shot hand. with the left. Huge ground and pound. Beautiful Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Full mount. Posture's up. Moves to half guard. 20 seconds to go round two. Lunges forward with a left there. All right, that's the end of round number two. And here's a nice punch that lands clean. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. 
Amazing highlights from that round. Let's get your act together now. You've been down this road before, and we're going to overcome this. If you're down in this fight, you... Brittany Palmer is in the building. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Go. round underway. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Oh, she landed a good series of strikes there. Nice straight there by Gadea. Oh, that's a good strike there by Van Zandt. Transitions back to full guard. Big punch from the bottom. Oh, Gedalia's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Excellent posture here. In half guard now. Punch by Gedalia. She's now working from full guard into half guard again. She's now back in full mount. Two minutes and change to go in our third and final round. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. She's now working from side control. Excellent movement here on the ground. Into side control again. She's working from north-south again. Trying to spin to the back. Side control again. Back to full mount again. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Joe, she's doing a nice job keeping busy here off of her back. So this one goes the distance. A lot of high-level output and action on one side of this fight. She should be the clear winner as we await the judges' scorecards. You never know, but this was a decisive effort out of this fighter here tonight. And she is all smiles as she awaits the official decision from Bruce Buffer. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored the contest 30-27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Claudia Gaudet! Well, that just might be the best strawweight fighter on the planet right there. A big win and a major statement made yet again by Claudia Gaudet.